I think we've all been so busy with our nine to five jobs and all of the stressors in life, you know, the bills and the kids, that we really haven't had much time to slow down and reflect on what is really important. I'm Valerie Wayland. I work as a community builder for Befriend in the Canningville area. A lot of the anxiety that came with COVID, the fear of the unknown, um, and a lot of people lost their jobs, so there was a lot of despair and sorrow. Um, and I felt helpless. How can I help my friends when I can't help them get a new job or make them feel better immediately, but I just focus on what I can do. What is my value in this space? For me, it's all about creating space for conversations. I love to talk, and so that's what I did. I run a safe space for women of color called Brown Girl Bloom, and so I decided to use Zoom, a great way to chat online without leaving your home. Um, some of those events were called self-care and exploring what that means for women of color during a radical time of unease. It was a great way to just kind of unpack and explore ways to feel inspired through other people's stories. People forget that we're all human and we all have internal struggles that we don't always express to one another. If I'm not feeling okay, I'll slow down, take the time to meditate, and acknowledge the emotions that I have at that time. And what's really difficult for me is the fact that I'm not from Australia. Um, I'm born and raised in California, and my, my family, they're in the hot spot in the world right now as it pertains to COVID. So there was a lot of anxiety there, worrying if you know my family members would get sick and what would happen. I probably wouldn't be able to leave. Um, so I just made sure to touch base with them often and really let go. Um, meditating is such a beautiful gift. And so whenever I felt a lot of anxiety, again, I would go right back to that still point in my life and just sit down and simply be. A few years back, I had a really bad basketball injury that actually ended my career. Um, and it was a really dark point in my life, but also filled with a lot of light. My injury was like that turning point to liberate me because I no longer wanted to do the things that validated other people's desires, but I wanted to fulfill my own. I was always a people pleaser. I always wanted to make people feel good about themselves. And it was always also to the detriment of my own well-being. It's really hard to see light in a really difficult situation. You're often asking yourself, why me? Why is this happening to me? But if we can step back and say, well, what am I meant to learn from this experience? And that's exactly what I did when I had my injury and I was feeling really depressed. I asked myself, what can I learn from this? Am I happy where I'm at? And what I realized is that I wasn't and I was ready for a change. I think that a lot of times we look at darkness as a negative thing, but for me, darkness has light within it. And if you can see the light in darkness, you can see joy and liberation within it as well.